has, has, has joined us back. Uh, Bernard is on the on, uh, uh, joining us back as well. Neil and Daniel is also still on the line. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for I mean, stay with us. But uh, uh, you you were talking before you went off, Bernard, and uh, you were telling us or uh, giving us an idea when the INEC is expected to be announcing every uh, results they've collated. W when will the uh, national results coalition end? Um, well, again, from, from experience, I know that this could take a while. Um, Lagos, as for Lagos State yesterday, while the coalition was going on, it was suspended, and then they said that they would reconvene today. Okay. Uh, so you, you can see that there are certain states that, that would have or that already have these challenges. And until they have, until the INEC in Abuja has all of this, um, we can't exactly say when the coalition will end. Again, remember that when these coalitions do come in, wherever there are mistakes or errors, the returning officer will be asked to um, take these uh, results back mm. and work on them and then bring them back again to ensure that everything is, uh, uh, you know, properly calculated, so to speak. But then again, I foresee, and I don't want to seem sound like a prophet of doom, but I foresee a case where there might have to be reruns in some places, particularly places like Lagos, where we saw several cases of uh, electoral malpractices. Mm -hmm. You know, we saw uh, on social media, we saw INEC staff, some INEC ad hoc staff um, that were, according to what we saw, uh, some were falsifying results. We saw some places where ballot boxes were snatched. We saw places where uh, uh, polling units were destroyed. We saw voters being uh, uh, molested and, and harassed. Mm -hmm. You know, all of these places, eventually there may need, there may be need for a rerun election in some of those polling units. There also may be places where some polling units may be entirely cancelled uh, because of overvoting, because of different malpractices. So these are some of the things that can make the entire process linger on for longer than expected mm -hmm. and longer than is anticipated. So for now, honestly, I do not think that anybody can give an exact time or day as to when this result will, will eventually be announced. It's almost like what happened um, in Kenya sometime last year, if you remember. Kenyan election lingered on for almost five to six days after voting closed mm -hmm. in all uh, different uh, areas in Kenya. So I'm seeing something like that possibly happening. I am almost certain that we will not get the results today. Uh, when we will get it, I cannot exactly say, but it may linger on for a short while. And I'm also expecting a bit of drama as well uh, in this election and in the announcement of the results. All right, let me draw uh, Daniel also in. Uh, Daniel is a reporter with uh, uh, The Guardian. Daniel, with all these incidents, uh, incidents is being reported, how will you describe the election by far? I mean, from 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 the angle as a journalist who has covered, I mean, uh, the elections. How will you describe it? Okay, I I, I will describe this uh, election that, uh, as an improvement so far. We must tell ourselves the truth. Is an uh, we must describe it as an improvement. Mm. Yeah, we must I, 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 see, I see Bernard, Bernard uh, nodding against that. Uh, Bernard, you don't think it's an improvement? Yes, I, I completely agree. No, I do not think it's an improvement. I'm a journalist who has been working for several years. This will be my third, if not fourth, election coverage. Mm. I'm I, I honest, this is not an improvement. Um, I can only say it's an improvement because of the, the, the machines that were used, that were used, that's Beavers, in terms of technology. But mm. if you look at, first of all, especially in places like Lagos, mm. the police, um, I heard the ambassador, or somebody mentioned earlier that um, the police seem to be proactive. They are saying that anybody who wants to be involved in, uh, uh, what was it he said they said now? I saw that on, on Twitter. But I think that's medicine after death. When issues were going on on ground, when ballot boxes were snatched, when police units were destroyed, when people were disenfranchised, when mm. uh, 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 poor electoral materials did not come on time, where was the police? So I, I refuse to, to think of this as an improvement. As a matter of fact, I think it's a step backwards because there was a lot of anticipation, there was a lot of expectation in this particular election. INEC had four years to prepare for the election. There was a lot of, um, um, you know, voter sensitization, according to INEC. Collection of PBTs uh, lasted even longer than we thought. They moved this collection to, uh, from, from the local government to the ward, so it's close to the people. And I said this the last time on your show. So there was a lot of expectation from the Electoral Commission, a lot of expectation from security operatives, and people had faith in these bodies, only for people to get to the polling units eventually, particularly in Lagos. Mm. Particularly in Lagos, that had the highest number of registered voters. Okay. Uh, let me get back to Lagos you. is one state that can uh, make or mark the entire election in Nigeria. All right. Daniel, uh, yeah, so let me... Let all me. of this, uh, we saw all the anomalies. Uh, Please go ahead. All right. Daniel, okay. yeah. Okay. 
what 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 I meant what I meant by improvement uh, in terms of uh, voter sensitization and uh, uh, awareness is an improvement, but not on the part of uh, the INEC. INEC has a good four years to prepare for this election. INEC has four good years to prepare for this election, but that is not what we are getting. But when I'm, I mean, in terms of improvement, the youth are more aware now. The mm. youth are more aware that yes, we can do this. It's not in a many local government where the youth came out. We have people who volunteer to be political party agents mm. who, who didn't wait to collect money, who didn't wait to get paid to be an agent of any political party, whichever uh, they, they align themselves with. So on that aspect, in terms of voter education, it's an improvement. But in terms of INEC preparation, it's a total failure. Mm. I'm a total failure. I'm a Nigerian. You, apart from being a journalist, you know, I've been restrained not to express my mind, uh, uh, like not to say how I feel because of my profession. But one thing is that I'm a Nigerian. If Nigeria is better, my my life will be much more better. Mm. Even Bernard's life will be much more better. Mm. We know what journalists are going through in Nigeria. Ben, I can tell you where he's working. Ben, I can tell you the, the level of mobilization, whether he's comfortable with how he was mobilized for this election. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. And if Ben, I will want to tell me that he was comfortable, then it means he just want to play some, um, uh, some pranks. Okay. I don't think he's uh, comfortable. All right. And that is because the country is bad, is worse. So, so it's, mm -hmm. it's an improvement in the desire of uh, youth, uh, 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 water education, youth awareness. But on the part of the INEC, you see, we, we, we see where places where INEC staff themselves were locked in a, in a, in a uh, what, uh, what do you call it, in cultural local government. Mm -hmm. INEC staff, adult staff were locked in a room and beat him. So where was the uh, Nigerian police? Where was the uh, Lagos police command? The, the, and the, the, the commissioner of police uh, was captured to be to be hovering over over the city in a in a private jet. Where things are happening in other parts. Okay, let me let so me welcome the Daniel. Let me welcome Kunle Lawa, who has also joined us. Uh, Kunle, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everything? Uh, we are doing fine. I hope you're also doing well wherever you are. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you yes, loud and clear. Uh, you, uh, do you work with the INEC? Um, I'm the executive director of the Electoral College of Nigeria. Okay. Okay, executive director of the Electoral College of Hello. Nigeria. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? So from 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 yeah, your yeah. from your observation so far, uh, what can you tell us about the election uh, thus far? I didn't get you. Can you hear me? Can you hear yes, me now? I can hear you yes, now. yes. I'm asking about what you can tell me about your observation. Yes, I can hear you. Now. Yes. What's your what, what has been your general overview about the election thus far? Okay, um, first of all, I'd like to correct something. I heard someone discussing and who mentioned um, security, and he said, what was the police doing? I, I need to make clear that Nigeria has about a police force of, say, 450,000, and the total amount of people being put into security operations with INEC in, during the elections were 400,000 across Nigeria. If you divide that by 176,000 polling units, you're going to have approximately 2.5 policemen per polling unit. And while I do not um, generally feel that um, the issues that occurred around the election were good, let's remember that Nigeria has had worse elections. I think the rise of social media is why this election is being looked at like um, something that is a little different from the norm. But being honest, 
I would, I would criticize probably two or three parts of this election, and that's one, the delay in uploading the results into the IBR. Um, two, um, the little security that could be provided, but that's based on our own already weak um, um, database of um, or, or a, a weak um, number of security in Nigeria. Then, um, thirdly, I, you know, there's a conversation which says INEC had four years. You need to understand that politicians to have four years to be able to plan their machinations too, as INEC is planning. The new electoral act will actually take care of a whole lot of things. I have a feeling that this um, election will be the most contested election in court. Um, a lot of uh, electoral, a lot of parts of the electoral act have been broken, mm. and um, they will be dealt with in court in the due process. Okay. But meanwhile. Um, we must say um, Nigeria has about a 932,000 kilometer land mass, which is not small to to run over our logistics. So uh, we've always prescribed solutions that we should have more of a staggered election so that our security forces can handle the kind of election pressure. Okay. Uh, gentlemen, you still stay with us. Uh, so we have a good conversation. Let me get to the studio too and take, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, comments from my gentleman here. Uh, Madugu, you, you've not spoken. So basically, they, 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 they are there and they say in a sentiment of um, Ambassador Samuel that uh, it's not been an improvement. For instance, um, uh, I mean, Bernard, Bernard has made that, that, that call that uh, they, they think that they've not improved from their previous elections. I mean, what's your concern how, about, about, about this statement? How does it, cons I mean, how, does, <coughs> how serious is I think, this one? I think... Um Nigerians must first recognize that they have a very vast country and uh, their democracy is still at experimental stages, that, like mm. I said earlier. So some of these challenges that come with elections, you know, is to be expected. Um, I believe that uh, the law in their country, particularly the electoral law, make room for, you know, uh, some of uh, create a forum where you can seek redress mm. if you have a challenge, particularly with the concerns being raised about uh, people being disenfranchised and you know some you know uh, transmissions of votes, people having issues in terms of the numbers and all. That. There's a forum. There is absolutely there's absolutely nothing that any of us in Africa, particularly Nigerians, will gain from you know violence. All right. Uh, I believe that if we sign up for democracy, it comes with some of these excesses. And when these challenges comes up, the best we can do, and they can do as mm. a country, is to find a, 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 a forum where these issues can be addressed. Um, I, I believe that uh, um, um, the, 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 the report that had come and based on, I mean, we have about 93 million people who have registered, mm -hmm. who are on the register, <laughs> I mean, to vote. So uh, there, are, there will be some challenges, you know, here and there. And some of the reports, if you see them, like Ambas Ambassador, you know, make, made a point on TV and the reports on social media. You know, you know, new media has also taken quite a center stage in these elections. Mm -hmm. And that is why I also caution that some of the information that we see on social media we must as much as try to verify them and be sure because they may report about some videos that has circulated that later turn out to be false. So it is important that the information that is available on social media that they come across, they must verify it and be sure about it of before you know they run with it. Because if they rely on some of this information without verification, mm -hmm. it, it creates problems and then at the end of the day, it, 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 the country degenerates into, into things based on information that may not be credible. I also believe that the new uh, bimodal system that has been deployed mm. in, in the election, I think this is the first time they're deploying it, you know, in the format in which they are, they are doing on a large scale. So it, uh, technology comes with some of, it, some of the challenges, mm. you know, that, 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 that is coming with. They should, as much as uh, they can, find a way to, to resolve it. And the Electoral Commission has actually indicated that there are places that there has been challenges in terms of voter delays. Some of the places were suspended. Those places will be allowed, you know, to vote before the final results 
would 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 be would, would be declared. So I think that those are some of the concerns that the parties and people who have concerned had to push to make sure that where challenges have been and where reports had come to the the the, the to INEC, they are able to resolve those issues and get those people to vote okay. and all that. But largely, the numbers that have been coming in, uh, for me, haven't followed the stage that we, they have come from. You know, since 1999, to when mm -hmm. the APC party, you know, put itself together in 2013, this this has been quite an improvement. You know, regardless of the challenges, that's my view. Okay, quite an improvement. You agree that it's been an improvement, but uh, 